Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. My name is Jack. You can call me I Shinobi. Today we have a part two, episode eight is advance of the full. Things have been ramping up like crazy lately. Again, we said like it kind of felt like last episode was the beginning of something new, was this breath of fresh air for Ed, for basically everyone that found out that this whole thing that they thought previously where how they brought their mom back wasn't actually her, like it's not possible to. There's still a lot to learn about this, like the alchemy behind bringing someone back from the dead they made some grand discoveries last episode that changes the course of everything changes their entire mental i'm excited to get into it to see what this new step they're going to take is now a lot of people are recognizing the corruption that's at stake especially with mustang at the helm of everything he's recognized that he's taking precautions with everything i'm excited it feels like a chess match honestly and uh yeah let's just hop right in oh we're actually interesting you're an idiot okay it's bad enough you believed her but then you gave up gotta stay strong and don't you ever give up on living. Need mm. to know you can keep your cool no matter what happens. Mustang's looking good. I'm gonna continue to rely on you to watch my back. You ought to think about taking your own advice, Colonel. Since <laughs> you were the one who abandoned his post. Hey, shut up, have it! Oh. He lived? Oh my gosh! Hell? Why are we even in the same room? I cannot believe he I lived. I should have my own room. I thought he definitely died. Try to understand to guard the two of you in the same place. Why haven't they tried to kill us yet? Also true, they're What's very vulnerable right you? now. How could you let that bastard go after what he did? Uh, I was about to say, why mouth? didn't he ever? Lust, kill, lust. It's not too late to kill him, so get to it. We can use Mustang. He's worthless if we kill him, however. Wow. Use it. Hold on. You it's a puzzle the piece. <laughs> the portal? You don't need to worry about it. And forget Mustang. Father wants me to handle him. Why did it cut the Hohenheim? Is he father? Is he father? I, it, it only makes sense that he is, dude, but I just don't, I don't know, dude. I hate it so much, so many questions. I doubt that my body's getting any nutrients or any sleep either. So even if we get it back from over there. Brother Winry. It's stinky, bro. That's his main concern. He'll be like out of shape. It's a hypothesis. But I was thinking about the transmutation. I think getting the body back is the main process. thing you remember first. We mixed our blood to create a blueprint for mom's soul. Right after that, we passed through the portal where we were both deconstructed. It's a slim chance. I think it's possible our spirits might have gotten tangled up in the process. Oh, wait, what? What are you saying? Trying to explain that our bodies might be connected somehow, even though I'm here and your body is over. Yeah, I was about to say they're. That might actually explain why I'm so shook. <laughs> the little He's starting to face reality. <laughs> He's starting to face reality. Supplying all the nutrients for Al's body too. That shows he's come a long way. A little far fetched. Well, what's your Maybe that's why he eats so much. Refuse to drink your milk. Start with that again. It seems like brother is always sleeping. Huh. I wonder if his body could be resting from mine as well. Wow. I didn't even think about that, honestly. That's why he eats so much, too. I hope so, at least. That'd be wild if it's, like, somehow leeching off of him in order to, to keep it alive. Mr. Havoc is recovering, too. We figured we should pay our respects. I definitely owe it to the colonel. I counted the number of steps it took to get to the basement third laboratory, and I was able to calculate the approximate location of that doorway. But I was able to deduce a radius with the lab at the center. They know that that's, like, the main... That's central command. This is even more alarming. Huh. It's the presidential estate. They know. Right above where we found the homunculi. There's a very real possibility the Fuhrer is connected to them. Oh! That doesn't they know! Sense. Why did he kill Greed and his group if he's connected to them? Alibi. He slaughtered them before interrogating them. Or no, because Greed knew. Greed it's was like kind of rogue. Right. One thing's for sure. The enemy's infiltrated high up the command. So extreme caution is necessary at all times. At least they don't completely count out Bradley. Watch yourself. I wasn't sure if they would. Him being the top of the chain. This could be bigger than I ever dreamed. He's like, I'm starting to worry that it's too big. Confident about it, like his smile. It. I hope you're ready to work yourselves ragged. About that, Colonel, <laughs> you're gonna have to count me out. Wait, what? Your work requires legs, and I can't feel my. Oh, feels bad. <sighs> but I'm retired. At least he's alive. I didn't. I thought he died. Okay, but now that we know that they're not targeting Mustang, because hey. I think you they can use him. Back problems. I can't stand all the standing that comes with being coroner. Coroner, okay. I get a sinking feeling when I heard you were the person that scorched that thing. Are you plotting something? You suspect a plot, but you still ID'd the thing as Maria Ross. Three cheers for old war buddies. More like accomplices. We treated them like rats and Ishval was the lab. Hmm. I know you like to play with fire, but someone will get burnt if you push this too far. 
Nice coroner. Play with fire. Did somebody get injured? One of my men. He was paralyzed from the waist down. Poor Havoc. Friggin' sucks. You know, I thought I'd retire because of a woman, but not like this. So what happens next? So dumb. My family owns a grocery store, and I can at least take calls. At least he Isn't finds some to... purpose. Actually, though. The nerves in my lower spine are completely severed. Oh. And I can't make those out of steel. The retired life doesn't suit you. Still a soldier at heart? There's still hope for Havoc. Full Metal passed this on to me. Hey, what? Dr. Marco, huh? Oh! Medical alchemist in possession of a philosopher's stone? Should I find him? I'm surprised that Havoc is like granted. their main. Going. I guess because they they have to take like what they can get right now. As many people as that oh, are on their Major, side. I didn't expect you back so soon. How did you enjoy your vacation to the east? Blue slip sink ships, Major. You don't say a word, Armstrong. The scenery was luminous. <laughs> uh, oh, That's exactly what Mustang get? said. Just arrived from the Provost Marshal's office. It's an urgent bulletin for all state alchemists. Wait, what is it? Dude, Armstrong would... I, Armstrong's probably the person I trust most in this show, if anything. I was a state alchemist. Right in with no questions asked. Did you find the basement? There wasn't one. But I did find a trace of some hasty alchemy. It was stupid of us to think that they wouldn't seal up the entrance. Ah. Where else are we going to find a homunculus if we can't get down there? Remember how they told me I was their sacrifice and they needed me alive? This makes me they anxious them the just thing. walking about. Les told me that when she found out I opened the portal. There's one piece of the puzzle. They're looking for alchemists that managed to open the portal and make it back out alive. The real question is why they want to sacrifice us. So, like their souls matter more. Maybe because they've been to that afterlife type thing before and they know I'm that. I found you. you. should go back to your hotel right now. I can escort you if you want me to. This thing's about to go down? It has been verified that Scar has returned to Central. Oh! Three casualties have been reported. All confirmed. He made it! Office. It's been so long since we've seen him. The eyewitness report is described as an Ishvalan with an X-shaped scar on his forehead. Unidentifiable markings include a tattoo. There's the man! It was him. So you're saying that Scar killed Winry's parents? Yeah. I don't know for certain, but that's the way it looks. Poor Winry. You weren't planning on telling her. Yeah, I was about to say, will he tell Winry? I couldn't stand to be the one to make her. I feel like that would only bring up like past emotions that she wouldn't want. But also, does he owe it to her? Last thing I want to do, but we have to confront Scar. To find out if he did it? Well, that's one reason. But there is another. To lure out the homunculi. With Scar. <laughs> they need us alive for their sacrifice, don't Oh, they? so if Scar killed them. I doubt they'll be willing to just stand Oh, and true. Us. Very smart. You think so? Sounds like a pretty big gamble to me. Yeah, dude, that, that'd that be crazy. Doing nothing. Because Scar literally tore us apart the last time. <laughs> <laughs> well, gotten stronger this past few months. So they. What happens if the homunculi do show up? How are you gonna catch one? I don't like you like this, Al. Pretty much can't die. Can't die. Freaking Ling, dude. Or are they actually immortal? <laughs> they lock the windows. <laughs> Count us in. We'd love to dude. help you guys. Oh my gosh. I can't say I care about the military stuff, but it sounds like these homunculi are just what we So they're planning on keeping Ed out and Mustang alive. They feel like they need all three of them. I don't know about Mustang for a sacrifice, but Mustang just in general. This you've got better odds with more help. I'm serious about this. I appreciate Ling extending a helping hand. Like I said, they can take anyone they can get. Remember we're in this together. I promise not to run off with them. I feel like Ling is most trustworthy. More trustworthy than others. This is not involved. This, this a room service? A bill. You're damn right you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> You're catching an early train to rush. Oh, she's leaving. Oh. You know what? You should Maybe you him. should stay. <laughs> Just thought about Scar literally <laughs> obliterating him. Oh, well, there's always a chance my arm could get broken or even destroyed. Planning on destroying it? You killed him, Winry. I've got your soul, brother. <laughs> I can't you. I've got your soul, sure brother. You just put it dangerous. back in. I love that. That was adorable. Oh my god, I love Al so much. Oh, it's the doctor. Hey, doc, are you home? But they I could use your help with something. Didn't the sins kill him? Yeah, they confronted him. That's how they got one of the stones. Damn. Beat him to it. Is that so? Report back to base. I trust literally nobody. I've decided to go ahead with my retirement. I don't know for certain if your wounds are inoperable. I'm not dumb enough to think I have a chance. I'm useless. For havoc. Look, don't try and tell me you need a pawn that can't move. I mean, 
And yeah. don't you look at me like that. Forget about me. Move on already. You don't have time to worry about me. You need to think about the promise you made to General Hughes instead of pitying me. I mean, you feel so hopeless that like whenever people are like, oh, maybe there's a chance. It's like, just no. Get on with my life. It's frustrating for him. Yeah. I beg you. All right. You're cut loose. Feels bad. I'll leave you behind so you can catch up. Hmm. Still has hope for him. But I'll see you at the top. <laughs> Not like Mustang to really give up on someone. He doesn't give up. Yeah. He didn't even think about turning his back on me. I had given up on living. It's not in him to abandon others. Dude, ugh. Mustang's just too good of a. He's a fool. He's not gonna make it to the top. This country will chew. Not with a heart that pure, yeah. Well, I don't know about that. This country needs a fool like that. Man. I need, I need him and Hawkeye to make it to the end together, man. I need you to bring me my uniform. But you're not ready to leave the hospital yet. Just go get it. At this point, Mustang feels like a secondary MC to Ed. Right away, sir. I guess Ed and Al is like a tertiary. That's my livelihood, you idiot! Uh, I'm really sorry, sir. Uh, well, uh, sorry's not gonna uh, fix my stance. Looks like you could use some help. Is this a commercial? It's a good thing I happened by. Edward Elric, state alchemist at large. Oh. Did Ed sell out? Please, you have to let me pay you. Hashtag ad? Amy? Well, that's not necessary, but thank you. With my broken vase. It's vase. A family heirloom. Oh, I no problem at all. Aha! What is happening? Is he making commercials? Does he need spare shit? Oh wait, he said no payment. What a community, man! <laughs> He's trying to gain favor with the people. I'm pretty sure everyone in Central knows my name by now. <laughs> well, you were a little over the top. He wants to lure lure when people did out. You become so theatrical. Shouldn't you still be in the hospital? I heard about Lieutenant Havoc. I'm sure Dr. Marco. Hold on, people are watching us. Never know who's listening. On second thought, let's get out. Poor Al. Dr. Marco's gone missing? Looks like it. They probably took him captive. I dead. Actually, no, he's useful for information. I'm sure you've heard that Scar's back. So what's with the show? But want him to find you? Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Who's walking up? I need to fight him and you can't talk me out of it. Have you lost your mind? Did you forget the way he tore you apart in East City? Ooh, sounds like the colonel's scared of big bad Scar. <laughs> useless you were against him. <laughs> Why are you guys yelling? It was writing that day. Was it raining when you got beat up and sent Dude, to the hospital? that version of Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Guess he got your invite. You'd think it was raining the way your forehead's dripping. <laughs> Hold it, don't shoot, Lieutenant. Oh my gosh. You can't be serious. The Colonel Sport. I think I might be able to catch a few fish. He straight up just popped out. <laughs> brother as bait to lure out the homunculi. It's too important to them. They can't afford to just let him die. That's crazy. We're not going to let anyone but else But Mustang hurt. said it's you crazy. Phelps's bait was our only option. Not dumb. Would work. What are you going to he do? He understands that too. Shot. The MPs might get here before the homunculi. But you can stop that from happening. Can't you, Colonel? So now I take orders from you. Is that it? <laughs> now you're Al's bond. You had better plan on sharing what you catch. Of course. Dude, Scar's just like middle of the day going after Ed because of his theatrics. This townhouse is close by. Come on, let's go. There's Ling. Is Ling just there for backup? Hey, get oh. out the way. Oh. Shot. Don't shoot. You'll hit my brother. That's what Ling's there Damn for. It. Maybe to take out these secondaries? Shoots, yeah. How can I keep this up? I don't Please think Scar would just let a bullet hit him. Which channels the provost marshals? Are they gonna come out though? You haven't let me I don't down. think they're going to. Attention, this is Sector Three Patrol. <laughs> Scar, request immediate backup. No, no, no! His impersonation, <laughs> bro. Under Sector Seventeen. <laughs> this is pretty fun. <laughs> come here. Mustang having fun. In sector 17? Then what about Sector 3? Colonel Douglas, he's in Sector 8 now. What's that? MPHQ calling Sector 8. Gar is currently fighting a young man. The young man is a state alchemist. A young Do man. Do not fire. False reports in all sectors. We have reports of a fourth scar. This is Sector Bradley three. knows. He knows. He knows exactly what's happening. Come now, blood man. I smell the Ishwalid. He's here. I get to eat him, right? <laughs> They're luring him out. It's That's working, technically. You could feel it too, right? Oh. Yes. Then it's time to move. Fling knows. 
Dude, everyone is there. Everyone. Oh my gosh. Lucky. He canceled out Scar's alchemy. How reckless can he get? You're taking risks here. He's got the tattoo. Bastard. You were the one. I smelled you. Time to Gluttony? Oh, Ling kicked him, didn't he? Get baited, Gluttony. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> well, pretty unusual body you've got there. <laughs> Just how many people are inside you? Who are you? Don't bother running. I can't feel bad for Gluttony, Essential dude. Presence. I think it's freaking gross. I can follow it. Follow me? Then I'll just eat you now. There's the... There it is. That's it. Homunculus. You're able to detect his presence, are you? <gasps> Ling versus well, Bradley? Let's take care of it. Dude, where are the Let citizens? Up! Oh, no! You can't get away from Bradley. Where is this girl? Wasn't she with Scar? Wait, the girl with the panda. What was her name? I forgot her name. It's been so many episodes since we've seen, even seen Scar that like, what's her place? Oh my gosh. We are seeing the confrontation of Bradley and Gluttony with Ling and baiting out the homunculi with Scar. That's like everything right there. Full circle. Like, I feel like anything that comes out of this is going to be public information. Like Bradley's identity has to be exposed that he's just out and about with Gluttony. Like they're right in the middle of the city. This isn't some random sewer that happened beforehand of course bradley's a very smart man though he knows what he's doing that's why he killed greed because he knew greed wasn't part of it anymore but no one's aware of that greed was like kind of basically like a rogue sin at that point that's why whenever they were talking about it, they're like but why would he kill greed because it plants that seed of doubt in their minds my goodness it's like, like i said it's just a big chess game using people as pawns i mean even ed and al using mustang as a pawn to a certain extent it's crazy man next episode is going to be like the confrontation of everyone seemingly Guys, Guys, I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am. Again, I'm excited to get into more of it. We're like, I, like uh, Lay said, we're like a third of the way through, so we're really making progress. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for hanging out, watching the series with me, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace.